G'day, welcome back. So today we're looking at the color checker in DaVinci Resolve and how to use it. Now there are a lot of videos out there showing people how to use color checker and they seem to be very complicated. In reality, it's actually very simple. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you my color management just in case you're curious as to why this image looks the way it does. So under my color management, this is the settings I'm using today. And this is the settings I generally use when I'm color grading. So of course, I'm gonna keep it the same. Now this might be different for you, but it is the one I use. My color management for my color space is Blackmagic Design Film Gen 5 because I'm using a Blackmagic Pocket Camera. So we have a couple of shots here. We have these two shots, which obviously have the wrong color balance. And then we have this shot here, which is a cooler image. And then we have this shot here, which is clearly a very warm image, again, with the wrong color balance. So let's do our first two shots with our little color checker here. Now to use the color checker, First thing you want to do is come down to your little qualifier here and then go down to color chart. Now that's going to bring up your little color checker. So we'll just move it on to our color checker. Now before we do that, we actually want to be in the color checking mode. So come down here to a little color chart here, color match here. And that's going to come up with your color checking options. So there's no point me putting this on if this isn't the right color checker board that I'm using. So at the moment, if we zoom right in, I'm actually using the color checker video. So we need to go down to our options here and we need to choose color checker passport video. Now this actually hasn't changed, but if I were to use a different one, let's say this one here, you can see that it won't match up at all. So let's go to our color checker passport video and let's line it up. So what you want to do is you want to hit these little corners here to get it nice and perfect. Now you don't want to be hitting anything else. So if there's something blocking this yellow, for instance, you won't be able to use the color checker. So just to make sure everything is nice and clear when you're recording a video, otherwise you're going to have some big color checker problems. Now I've seen in the past where people do this and they will come down and change their gamma, target gamma, et cetera, et cetera. Now I've found that this actually doesn't matter for me, maybe because of my color management is set up in a certain way. But for me, I don't need to change this, but if you're having problems, then maybe come down and change this. So we've got our x right color checker passport video all set up. Every little square is matching perfectly. Now, if this was the other way around, let's say this color checker was the other way around and we matched it up, let's say upside down, it doesn't actually matter. All you need to do is make sure these little squares are in these little squares and then everything is gonna be fine. So let's go down to match. And if we go big screen, our image beforehand, really warm and our image afterwards and we have a nice balance. Now it has lifted our darker areas a little bit, but that's just resolve trying to work out the proper white balance in this shot. That looks pretty good. And let's move on to the next shot. And again, let's do the same thing. But this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the x rider Color Checker Legacy. And even though it fits up perfectly, you'll see that it isn't actually correct. So again, just putting it all in to as close as we can be. Now, obviously I shot this, so I made it very easy on myself. This is our image, very warm. Now, when we do this, we're in the wrong color checker, remember? So we go to match, and that's the image we get. So we have a very gross looking image, and that is because these colors aren't matching up with what DaVinci Resolve thinks they're supposed to be. So it's basically doing the wrong color with our color checker. Simple way to fix this, go down, color checker passport video, and again, click match. And even though we have terrible colors here, if we just go down to match, fixes it all up. So now we have two pretty similar images. This one is a little bit brighter than this shot here. So you just wanna make another node, do a couple little corrections and match that. But going from this to this is actually pretty great. Now moving on to our next image and we have that very blue scene. So I've set up the color checker as you can see here. And all I have to do is turn this node on because I've already done this. We have a very bright looking image, but we actually have a nicely balanced image. Now those blacks are lifted a fair bit, but again, we could just bring that down. This is more about balancing the shot, 
more than making it look stylized or any type of look. Now we move along to our next one and we just turn this on and now we have a nicely balanced image compared to this one here. Again, we're just a little bit darker than this one here. So we could just make some adjustments. Let's turn this off, it's annoying. And just like that, we have two matching images. So we have this image here, and this image here, and using the color checker, we've matched these images quite nicely. And then from there, you would start to work on your look and start doing that color grade. It's really important that you do the color checker first. There's no point actually doing a complete grade and then coming back and do the color checker because obviously that'll change your entire look. So just do it at the start of your grade and everything will be good. Now, some other things to take note is that when you're recording on the day, make sure that this black isn't reflecting. Otherwise, your color checker isn't going to work properly. Make sure your fingers aren't in front of the little uh, colors here. Again, that'll disrupt your color checker obviously if there's someone on set holding this color checker make sure they're not shining a light into the color checker because otherwise it's going to get the color balance from that torch light not from your scene so just try and keep it as close to your face as possible when doing the check because that's the part that you want to get balanced anyway now let's just do a quick color management change and see if this image changes at all so what we can do is come down to color management and i'm just going to take this automatic color management on and it hasn't really changed that much but we can just go back and redo our color checker and click match and it has changed a fair bit but it's still doing the job that it was doing before but of course all those other video clips have changed because now you're working in a different color management so again the way i work in my color management color processing mode i would just go to custom input color space for me it to be different for you guys if you're shooting on a different camera timeline color space is 2.4 custom 10,000 output color space oh wait sorry this is DaVinci white gamut and then timeline luminance custom 10,000 and ITS Output color space, Rec. 79, 2.4. That's fine. Input DRT is none. And DRT, you want to set the luminance mapping. And again, of course, we'd have to go back and refix that, but not too hard. So as you can see, all images are back to where they were before. One other thing about the color checker, even if you are using one in a shot, you don't actually have to use that color checker. If you like the starting point that you're at without the color checker, then just don't use the color checker. Grading, of course, is about decisions and what decision is gonna work best for your grade in the end. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see anything else, make sure to comment below and I'll see what I can do. I actually have a video coming up where we'll be going through some editing and we'll be using some footage that you can download and we can all edit together. So that is very exciting. There'll be some raw footage, but there'll also be some more compressed footage that we we'll use for editing and then we can do some grading with that raw footage. Anyway, look out for that. Again, thanks for watching. I've been Drew and have a great day.